Hey, TVs, it's Psychic Bob. Well, welcome to Friday. It's Free For All Friday. And I told you guys we were going to talk about some art today. So let's jump right into it. As many of you know, I've uh, been streamlining my home. I'm getting rid of all the junk and going to a minimalist, modernist look. Along with that, I rediscovered my love of painting. And so I've been doing a series of paintings that are modern, abstract minimalism. Well, here is my newest painting. Here is one of my new paintings. The name of this is Rose Gold Bullion. And it's done on a metallic uh, surface. It's canvas. It's done on canvas with acrylic and metallic paints. And you'll see the background is a beautiful silver, a soft silver color. And <clears throat> It's devoid of ornamentation except for two rectangular patterns, which I guess we could call those the, the bricks. I thought of these as kind of like gold, like gold bullion. So here's a yellow gold. And this painting is called rose gold because this is the one of the highlights of the painting. And you can see this kind of reddish metallic uh, paint here. Now, what's interesting is you'll notice the texture in this. I used... Um, gesso, which is a painting medium to create the textures in this work. Isn't this beautiful? Gesso is amazing because it's like, like paint that you sculpt. And so you can put it on your canvas and change its shape. But it creates, it gives a really nice textured effect to this. And I thought it would contrast nicely with the smooth silver background. So this is called Rose Gold Bullion. What do you think, guys? You like it? Let's try to go to angle. Sometimes you can see a little better, less glare. There you go. Rose Gold Bullion by Psychic Bob Hickman. Yay. That's one. Of, I actually did all this myself. So there you go. Now, if that painting is too boring and conservative for your tastes, I have another painting that I also recently did as part of my Biomorph series. Let's take a look at it. This is my other uh, painting I did. It's in my Biomorph series. It's called Yellow Biomorph. And uh, it also is done in acrylic on canvas. And you'll notice here we've got this deep purple background. I did this in multiple layers and let it dry uh, in stages and it created this kind of deep textured effect. I really like it. And uh, then I added the, the rest of the imagery here, um, which are the biomorph, very free form. Um, I think the color effect is great and I, I just like the dramatic effect. It's a little hard to capture on camera, but it's got a real kind of life energy to it. You can see the way that uh, the paint was, a lot of this was done with pouring and it created a really nice textured effect in the paint. You'll see the borders. Um, in person you can see they have a little more texture. It's kind of black border. We got little colors here, some green mixed in with the yellow and the black. Here's another part that's green down here. I love the way it kind of caked up and dried. It almost has the effect of like like mud or like dried skin. Like these are supposed to be kind of like amoebic forms. Like this would be I think kind of existing on the microscopic level. And so and if you, any of you have studied microbiology you know there are creatures on the microscopic level that look like this. So that's what this is. Biomorph, uh, yellow biomorph is the name of this painting. And you can see here's another biomorph forming down here. And the concept is that life is fluid, that everything's in motion, and that life exists even on the subatomic and the molecular levels. Levels we don't even perceive with our eyes. And you know, you kind of think of it's kind of like with the spirit world because People say, well, I don't see spirits, but it doesn't mean they're not there. They're a different frequency, a higher vibration. 
And these life forms, these biomorphic life forms, exist um, on microscopic levels. But I think you could also say that they exist on the etheric level because these beings, these amoebic forms, have a life and a consciousness. Any of you have ever taken biology and observed an amoeba, they clearly are a being with consciousness. And so if all beings have life, which I do believe, and then I believe all beings have a spiritual element, so this biomorphic form could also exist on the etheric level. Anyways, I thought you guys would like to see it here. Let me just do a quick zoom over, a closer zoom. So it's going down the left side. You can see the textures and the paint. And I'm going across the bottom. Go up the other side. I got some really cool effects here, and I don't quite know how I did it. I think that some of the paint was not dry when I started painting, and it blended in. We got these really kind of cool color streaks mixed in, which I think really adds character and texture to the work. Anyways, I really like this one. This is one of my favorite paintings. I'm really proud of this work. I feel like captured kind of what I was visualizing. And any of you who do painting, you know that one of the challenges when you do artwork is that you have something in your mind, but when you try to execute it on canvas, sometimes it doesn't turn out like you visualize. Well, this one actually turned out like I visualized, and actually I think even better. So I'm really happy about it, and I'm enjoying it. So I'm curious, do you guys like my Biomorph series? I'm thinking about really expanding in this area. Uh, I'm going to still do minimalism too, like the, the abstract minimalism, but I'm really feeling the energy and textures and the feeling of this biomorphic work. And just curious if you guys like this and if you'd like to see more of this. And, you know, are you any of you interested in, in you know, even purchasing some of these? I'll make them. If you want a custom made one, I could probably do that for you if you had certain colors you wanted. And, you know, I have to be honest, you know, it's always an experiment. We don't know exactly how it's going to turn out. Uh, there are a lot of factors that affect it. But if I had a general idea of something you're looking for, maybe I could create it. Anyways, let me know. And here's another one of my newest paintings. Uh, this one is a small one. It's an 11 by 14 size. Um, the other ones, the two other ones I showed you are 20 by 24 inches. So you have a size for reference. This one's an 11 by 14, a smaller piece. Um, but this is done in acrylics and aluminum-based metallics mixed with gesso. And this is part of my ethereal portal series. Um, you'll notice it's kind of like a doorway through here. And just to give you an idea, i got some shadow here, but bear with me. I put a lot of texture into this. It's got a silver and white smooth background and on top of that are layered layers here of gesso and silver paint and then in the middle is kind of a platinum based paint that contrasts with the lighter silver but um, this in the center is very textured as well but it's a finer texture and you'll notice that this painting's beauty is in the contrast between the center finer texture the coarse outer texture and then the smoothest outer texture here. Um, this is done in what we call the brutalist style. During the 1950s it became very, uh, artists became very interested in the the effect of texture in painting and so um, this style emerged during that time period called brutalism and this does look a lot like concrete if you look at like you know, rough, unfinished concrete on a wall of a building. That's kind of the effect of brutalism, but it's kind of hard to capture here in film, but I hope you get a little bit of an idea of what that picture's like. So, what do you think of that, huh? Now, those of you who have been following my channel will remember that on this past Wednesday, we did Wiccan Wednesday, and we talked about the uh, magic of the color green, the green color and its magical uses. And at the beginning of that video, uh, I was in a crazy, hyped-up mood, and I did this sketching 
uh, out of uh, Crayola, out of wax crayons. And y'all actually said you liked it. And I, you know, I was doing it just on a spur of the moment, not really thinking. I like to think I kind of channeled this through. That's got a lot of vibrant energy in it. And a lot of you said, wow, that looks really cool. And so yesterday I decided to frame it. And so here it is framed. And um, uh, I haven't come up with a name yet for it. Maybe you guys have a name for it. Um, so tell me in the box below, what do you think we should call this picture? Now, a number of you said, wow, I really like that. Can I get a copy? And so uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um, make prints of this. Um, um, and so or I, may, I may actually make it a graphic that you can do a download. I don't think this one I'll sell. I think I'll, I'll put it on my website if you guys want to download it. Um, anyways, tell me what you want. Do you, do you like that? Um, anyways, there it is. So we'll come up with a name for it. So there you go. So guys, there are some of my artworks. I've got a few more paintings in progress and you know, I'm always working on something, but I hope that this today has inspired you and given you some ideas. You know, some people have written and said, well, if you're a psychic, why are you teaching about paintings and art? Well, I believe that painting is a form of channeling. I believe we can be in touch with our higher self and that we can be in touch with the spirit world. And that channeling and art go together. So when I paint, I paint from my higher self or from a spirit that channels through me. So these are channeled works, I do believe. And anyways, it's another way that you can express your spiritual gifts is through artworks. And it can be a form of channeling. Anyways, guys, I'm going to keep this short today. Uh, I know that I said we were going to talk about um, UFOs, Shh. but um, I just received notice that YouTube is now going to shut down channels that uh, drift into conspiracy theories. And they've openly said they're shutting down people who discuss this matter. Uh, I think this is a severe um, infringement on free speech. But I'm not going to get into that today. That'll be a whole nother video. But uh, we will not be able to talk about that due to censorship. So um, we're going to stick to art today. It is free for all Friday and it's kind of an open day. So I hope you've enjoyed my art and uh, we're going to we're going to do more stuff on Friday. But today I'm tight on time, but at least I want to get this out to you. I want to say thank you. Thank you to all you've been coming out and supporting my videos. Uh, if you like this, please help me stay on YouTube. Give me a thumbs up, like it, favorite it, share it with your friends, and make sure to hit that subscribe. And if you want to get on my schedule for a private reading, that's right, I am a full-time psychic media, medium, give me a call. 703-825-3929 is my phone number. That's in the info box below, and we'll get you on the schedule. You guys are the best. I love you. Keep it here. Tomorrow is Saturday. We got our spiritualist class and seance. You don't want to miss it. Be here. We'll see you then. I love you guys. And until tomorrow, may you all always blessed be.